What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian Nima. Today we are doing a figure review of Goku and Frieza. If you're ready, let's go. So here is Goku and Frieza outside the box. Looking amazing. Um, we'll check out the details more close up. Um, just a quick background. This uh, piece is part of Ichiban Kuji. If you don't know what Ichiban Kuji is, it is basically a lottery system in Japan that they have. So you can win some novelty things like towels and cups and coasters and whatever they have part of the giveaway. But in that giveaway, everybody's going for the figures. Uh, there are other figures besides these, um, this Goku and Frieza. If you want to learn more about Ichiban Kuji, because I tried explaining it, but I think Matches Peaches, if you have never seen his channel content, I highly recommend if you are into Dragon Ball Z, he does straight Dragon Ball Z figure reviews and it's really amazing. Um, so I'll put his uh, link on the description. Please subscribe to him. He's a really great, great content creator. Um, yeah. So if you want to learn more about Ichiban Kuji, this piece right here is an actually stateside. They do release American stateside of those uh, figures, and we're so fortunate that we get those. Um, so yeah, th that's where I bought mine. I'm not paying those shipping fees. It's way too expensive for me. I'm living with a budget here. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, actually is a reference to a manga. Um, I believe it's the Underwater Battle, if I remember correctly. Uh, put the picture right now so you can see what I'm talking about. So yeah, I think it looks spot on. I think it looks really, really good how they did this. Um, so yeah, I think it's really, really great. But we'll check it out, um, all the scope and details, and then we'll talk about the price, and then overall we'll give it a score. And if it's out of a 10, let's go. So we're gonna look at Frieza here first. Um, looking really great. I think the facial expression and everything looks good. Um, the paint application looks really good. Um, there are no blotches whatsoever in mine, so it is perfectly put together. Um, the only thing I could say, though, it is... Wait, no, never mind. It's just the lighting, my bad, sorry. Uh, I was going to say, that seems like the purple on his head seems more dull than the ones on his body, but no, it's actually correct. Um, so yeah, I think overall the texture on his tail looks great. It has this little texturing on his tail. I don't know if it comes out in the video that well, but yeah, it looks, looks really good. All the way totos and everything um yeah it's overall i think it, it looks really really nice they did a really good job right here with frieza um so yeah paint and sculpt i think looks really good let's go look at goku so looking at goku here i think goku looks really good uh, i think they did a really great job i like the color of the gi it's very bright orange I believe the other ver variation of this is kind of yellowish, um, just like the cover in the manga um, is pretty yellow. Um, but yeah, it looks really, really good. I think the exaggerated neck, the facial expression looks good. There is no, there is no like mess up parts in my hair. Some people said that there was like some uh, blotching on the hair, but I think mine's good. I mean, you do see the seam line of the mold right there, but you know, it, it is, it's not really that noticeable from where you're going to be displaying him. And it's not that bad. I've seen some worse ones. Um, so yeah, overall, I think Goku looks really great. The sculpt looks good. Um, there's no shading whatsoever on this, but I think it works out for this. I think overall, I think it just looks, looks great. Um, the only thing one I could say for if I had to pick nitpick anything, I think the symbol on his back though it is too the white is too um thin that the orange is um like coming out and i know it's a sticker apply i believe at least a applied sticker um but it is yeah i think if they this is the only thing i could say but it's not that big i still think it's a really great figure so yeah looks looks amazing now let's talk about the price so let's talk about the price about uh, of this figure. Um, they do like this is cool because they come in together, right? Um, so you get two figures for the price of one. I think that's pretty good. Um, just keep in mind, Frieza does stand about seven inches, almost seven inches, and Goku stands roughly past nine inches, almost ten. Um, with Goku and Frieza standing like this, it is roughly about eight inches wide. So yeah, it's a pretty hefty figure. Um, speaking of that, 
Um, if you were to order this through like Japan, if this didn't come in an American US release, you would really have to pay a lot with the shipping fees. And putting those together, I think you'd probably spend around roughly about a hundred, maybe more, um, depending on that. Um, so for eighty dollars, this is about eighty one dollars, I think eighty two with taxes. I think it's like a really good price. <laughs> I think it's worth it. Uh, I think it's worth the price to get this figure. I think it's just iconic stare down. And so, yeah, I think it's worth the price. So you kind of kind of know what the score is going to be from what I'm saying, right? Um, so let's talk about the score. Let's go to the score. So talking about the, um, the score here, um, I think for the pain and sculpt, I gave it straight to five because it looks amazing. It looks really dead on with the character's facial expressions. It does look like it just came out from the manga. And yeah, I think it looks really great. Um, for the price, like I was saying, if you were to buy it overseas, you would be spending so much money just to bring it over here. So I think if it didn't have a US release, you'd be spending 100 or $200 if you really wanted this figure. And I really want this figure. I'm so happy that it came out here. So with that being said, the price is all worth it. I think $81, I think $40 for each figure. I think it's pretty good. I mean, with what you get, <clears throat> I could say maybe some people would say, no, I don't think freeze is worth $40, but I freeze is iconic enough. It's like, it's like Apple, bro. He is so popular. So I think he'd probably, probably be more than $40 if they release him single. So I think together as a pack, it's really, really worth it. Um, so it's straight five. So if you haven't guessed it already, the score for Frieza, the stare down right here, is a 10 out of 10. Congratulations. This is amazing. So I hope this video will help you decide if you want to purchase the figure. If you do, I'll put the link on the description so you can purchase one for yourself. And also, I think it's a really great figure. Last thoughts, really great figure. I highly recommend if you are a Dragon Ball Z fan, you need this on your shelf. Um, if you did like this video, think about leaving a like and also sharing. And also, if you haven't already, subscribe so that you can see the next video dropping. For now, everybody, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting me. Thank you so much and goodbye.